Hi and welcome to Suzu's Woolworks in my shed <laughs> because I have nowhere else to be. Um, I want to talk real quick for my newbie fiber people. I don't know everything, but I do know what works for me. Um, I love my Flit Carter. My Flit Carter is the best thing that ever happened. Julie Leibowitz, Fuzzy U Farms, she introduced me to this process. Um, up until I had Lester Longwools, this was not really a major issue for me. Um, but I'm gonna set this aside real quick. This is raw Lester Longwool. You can see that I'm gonna have some separating to do. Um, and then this is actually cleaned and dyed at the same time. So I do scour first. I let it soak in the scour, rinse it out, and then I go back in and I wash and dye at the same time. And that also helps for me to get the color variations. Um, so we're gonna address both of these sorry for all my magical hands there, um, uh, individually. So here's the thing, I ha used to just throw the whole fleece in. The only time I throw the whole fleece in is when I know that it's a shorter staple, it's not gonna be something I'm gonna flick card, I'm gonna end up having to um, hand pick a little bit at the end and then go in and throw it through the drum carter directly or through my um, triple picker. Um, but uh, with something like this, where I know I have tips for my longer staples, even with those, and especially if I know I have a spinning project coming out of this, um, I go ahead and all I do is I go, you can see how this introduces you to the next lock. All I do is just separate out the fibers and then when I'm ready, I go in, and excuse that, that's a dirty bucket, but either way, it's gonna get cleaned. Um, I go in and I lay them all out in my bucket and then when I'm ready to wash, then I can at least pick them up in a uniform fashion and they're ready to go. You don't traditionally flick card your locks before and I'll tell you why. I'm gonna show you, so. Okay, so now I've opened this up. This is unopened. You can already tell why. If I wanna know what I'm supposed to be working with, it is better for you to keep those tips on and at the end of the day, after you've washed it, everything's good and dry, and you're ready to start getting processing for spinning, you're gonna wanna work with this, not with this, because this is just gonna get lost in the shuffle. You have a better chance of getting a nice um, worsted spun uh, skein of yarn out of it versus when you, ha out of this one, versus this where it can fold itself and do all kinds of weird things. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, um, again, is really when you do get them, so you'll see you'll get this pile, this is what it looks like when it comes out, it's been washed and dyed, is you go and find your tips, it's really easy, and just gently separate out. Now, remember, you might be looking to maintain that curl at the end of it, so if you're going to wanna to keep all of this here, the best thing you can do is just gently open up that lock a little bit just get some of that out and there you have that and then again focus your energy just at the ends of it come on you of course it doesn't help but you see this is naturally going to do what it wants to do but when you're felting it in for instance then you have something that you can felt into and then you can use this for stems and leaves and flowers and whatever else you want to do if you're going to be more aggressive and you know that you're going to be spinning this and you don't want to spin from the lock oops sorry I didn't mean to move you just go ahead and open up your lock and see this one's a little bit trickier, a little bit stickier. Sometimes you get a little bit of residual dirt stuck in there. It's the stuff that you can't always see when you're skirting the fleece, but look at how angelic that is. Um, now, it looks like it's a, a soft yarn to be, but the reality check is, is by the thickness of the fiber, you can actually see that this is a medium uh, heading towards the coarse side of wool. So I would not necessarily make this a next to skin wearable product, but I would definitely use it for sweaters and gloves and hats and stuff like that. Anything where I know that I need the warmth and I need the layering. All right, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed.